So in this demonstration, I'm going to show you how you can automatically import transactions or lists into QuickBooks Desktop using Z-axis. Now the two features that I'll be showing you are the monitor feature and the rule feature. These features are both included in the automate module of Z-axis. So the process very simply is to allow access to monitor a folder that you've set up on your PC. And as soon as a file is dropped or saved into that folder from a third party system or manually, then Access will pick that file up and begin processing it. The processing will take place according to the settings that you set up in the rule. Now the rules would say, here is a file. This is the mapping you we're going to use. This is the transaction type that we're going to use. And this is how it should be imported and reported directly back to Z axis. So before you do, before you set up that, there's a few things that you need to be aware of. With the automate module, you'll have to have installed and configured the database that goes with Z axis. You'll also need to make sure you connect to your QuickBooks file and have already tested an import along with a mapping that you set up. So once this is set and you've tested these things, you can go about setting up the rule and the monitor. And I'll do that now. So to begin setting up a monitor, we run access as administrator and then we click on the automate tab and then the monitor button. And we're going to add a new service. So we're going to say services active. We select the folder that is going to be. And in this case, we have one set up on this PC and it's on the desktop. So we select OK. Then we select how often we want to check that folder or Z-axis to check that folder. And we'll put that in this one minute. We have a number of different intervals there. And then when we finished, we click add. And there we've, we've started and set up our first monitor of the mon folder that's on the desktop. So to set up a rule um, within Z-axis, we've connected to our QuickBooks file. We go to the automate tab. Now we click on the rules button and we're going to add a new rule. So we're going to say, give the rule a name. I'm going to select where this um, data is going to be coming from. In this case, it's a monitored folder. So we set that up just previously in the previous step. So it's my monitor. And we're going to say whenever the file um, come, comes in with the word invoice contained within it, within the name file name, then that will trigger the uh, rule to start its process. And what we're looking for is to say, this is the transaction type that we'll be importing. It's going to be an invoice and we're going to use the mapping that we previously set up and tested. So we have one there called my invoice map then the action to be taken on completion we're going to say if it succeeded we'll say um, processed or we'll change the status on the message if it fails um, or if there's an error to failed then once we've done that we just click on save and the rule is then um, set up and attached back in um, to our monitor area here so there we can see the um, my, my invoice rule that we've created is looking for the word invoice and is using the my invoice map um, that we've set up previously. So let's um, do our first test of the monitor and rule combination that we've set up. So first off is we've created this uh, monitor folder and I have a copy of that there. We're going to drop one of the um, import files into that folder and we'll see that be picked up by the monitor service and then processed by the rule as well. So let's just now drop that folder into here. Now, um, 
Axis will check this folder we've set up, so check it every minute. So we're expecting the rule to show, uh, it's just processed the folder, you can see it's just disappeared there. We can go into Axis to see that um, actually live in Axis. So we've um, refreshed the inbox and you can now see that the um, monitor was picked up. We've got the file that we was detected and we've got a process message there. So this has been directly imported into QuickBooks. So we can go into QuickBooks. So we select this um, process message. Let's just go and check to see what's, what's imported. We can see the contents of the monitored file here and we can then look up in QuickBooks to see the uh, corresponding few transactions that are imported. So we're looking for Park Homes. So we can see a copy of the invoice that was um, batch imported by the rule.